A news release sent out late in the day on Friday, March 13th, revealed state officials have agreed to pay the group doing the I-4 Ultimate construction an additional $125 million. The headline on the release claims the I-4 project has reached a major milestone with the opening of the I-4 408 interchange this summer. Buried at the bottom is a paragraph that says, a settlement of claims made by the concessionaire for unforeseen impacts and financial compensation of approximately 125 million has been agreed upon by the project parties. Wish 2 News reached out to FDOT to ask specifically what that 125 million is for and who will pay the bill. In an email response, a spokeswoman said the agreement resolved pending claims with project delays and unforeseen conditions, as well as additional work. As for who will pay the $125 million, the spokeswoman simply said FDOT will use available funds in its budget. News of the cost overrun has upset members of Florida's congressional delegation. In an emailed statement, Congresswoman Val Deming said, I'm as annoyed as the rest of us about the cost overruns and delays. I also believe the public needs more information. And Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy said, we must obtain a detailed explanation for the ongoing project delays and a full accounting of contractor failures to keep workers and travelers safe. The contractor doing the work on I-4, known as I-4 Mobility Partners, is blaming the state for the cost overruns and delays, specifically the state's plans and some of its procedures. Amanda Dukes reporting WESH 2 News.